this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate Member Mouse membership plugin with WP Courseware. Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, I'd like to display which plugins I actually have installed. And you'll notice here I have Member Mouse Platform, which is the current version. Then I have WP Courseware. This is also the current version. And I also have WP Courseware Member Mouse add on. So these are the three plugins required to make your learning management system fully automated and also uh, allows you to sell your courses. Okay, so next what I'd like to do is I'd like to go over to Member Mouse and Product Settings. And you'll notice here under Products, I've got several products set up either as a bundle or as a membership level. Now, with Member Mouse, uh, you always have to have a membership level. And by def there, there's a default membership level that uh, everybody will be enrolled in by default when they purchase a product. However, you can also have bundles in which you can sell multiple products. Um, and you can also set up uh, various membership levels. So I've, I've got a combination of both. And the reason I'm talking about both bundles and membership levels is because this version of the add-on actually supports both. So the previous version only supported bundles. So we're pretty excited about that. All right, so next what I'd like to do is go down to our training courses area. And I'd like to just simply point out that we've got several training courses already created. And so now we, what we have is we have the, the two components, the two key components uh, that, that are required in order to assign courses to either a membership level uh, or, uh, or a bundle. So next what I want to do is go over to Training Courses Member Mouse. Now this option here is enabled only when you install the Member Mouse add-on for WP Courseware. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so now what you'll notice is you'll notice that we've got not only our bundles, but now we have membership levels here listed as well. And they are, they are distinguished differently. Um, so, for instance, this bundle, uh, which is technically bundle ID 1, it's depicted by B just so it can identify as bundle, but technically... Uh, as far as member mouse is concerned, this is uh, bundle ID 1, which is course A and, and B. That's the name of the bundle. Um, and then in this column here, we have the, the two courses that are associated with that bundle. So course A and course B are so associated with course A and B bundle. Um, and so what I'd like to do is um, just kind of scroll down here and, and show the various uh, courses that are assigned to, for instance, uh, this is level 1. And course for level one is assigned to this particular membership level okay all right so let's just go in and edit course access settings here for for this particular bundle and you'll notice here you have the option to assign any one of these courses into that particular bundle so whenever somebody purchases the bundle they will automatically be enrolled into the course and so you can select as many as you'd like um, and then you would just click save changes there is this option here for a retroactive assignment for courses uh, to current customers, uh, but I will cover that uh, later on in the video. We're going to go ahead and skip that for now. So, okay, so I'm just going to click Save Changes there, and we're going to go Return to Course Access Setting Summary. Okay, so now we've got courses assigned with either bundles or levels, and so now what I want to do is I, I want to test this out. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to open up a separate browser, Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and fill out the checkout form. And we're going to go ahead and check out using the uh, PayPal sandbox, which I've already pre-configured. Okay, I'm going to plug in my password here. And go ahead and log in. Okay, click pay now. Okay, so it looks like I am now signed up. Um, I did uh, purchase the course A and B bundle, and it looks like it was successful. So what I'd like to do is go back over to our other browser. 
Okay, so now let's go over to uh, our users area and we should have a newly registered person named Bob and Bob should be enrolled into both course A and B uh, because he did purchase the bundle and he does. Okay, so it looks like that did work successfully. However, um, I, I want to uh, go back. We, we skipped an option earlier in the video and I want to go ahead and, and go ahead and explain that in further detail. Um, before we do that, I want to point out uh, we've got two users here, Bob and Jim, um, and it looks like they both are enrolled into course A and B, which tells me they uh, probably both purchased uh, the course A and course B bundle, which is significant. So go ahead and remember both Bob and Jim. And so let's go down to training courses, member mouse, and we're going to go and edit the course A and B bundle. And we're going to look at this option here, the retroactive assignment courses for current customers. Okay, so what this basically means is you can create a course after the fact, after somebody's already purchased uh, the product. So in other words, Bob and Jim, they both purchased this bundle. They were both enrolled into course A and B. So let's just say that you wanted to create a brand new course and assign it to this bundle. Um, basically what you would do here is assign your new course, but here we would select the option yes. This would enroll both Bob and Jim into the newly added course. Okay, by default, if you don't select this and you just add this course, only people moving forward who purchase the product will get this course, but anybody who previously purchased will not get this. So what we're gonna do is select yes, save changes, and then we're gonna go over to our users area, and so both Bob and Jim should now have extra course for B. Okay, so yep, and you'll notice here, Bob and Jim, now they've got both course A and B, which were the original courses assigned to that bundle, and now they've got extra course for B, which we just assigned using the retroactive function. So, okay, well that concludes this video tutorial on how to integrate MemberMouse membership plugin with WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.